Last year, we set out to tackle one of the biggest killers on our roads, driver inattention. To do this, we came up with the rather unconventional approach of creating the world's first attention-powered car. It uses a neuro headset to measure the driver's brain activity. As well as demonstrating the problem, it also allowed us to collect data so we could better understand the issue. Here are a few things we learnt. From our road trip around WA, we discovered inattention affected every driver, on average, at least once every minute. Mobile phones were particularly troublesome. <laughs> you lost attention immediately. <laughs> and it wasn't just phone calls that saw average attention levels drop. Other uses, including checking Facebook when driving, also proved worrisome. Even more so when you consider a recent RAC study revealed 20% of young drivers check social media behind the wheel. Eating was also surprisingly distracting. Oh, gee, that's a big burger. I've lost power now. You're going to take your hands off the wheel. You've just lost power again. And maybe it's even worth rethinking that morning coffee. Passengers. They can be fun to have around, but they can also be pretty bad for our attention levels at times. There you go. Concentrate, darling. Focus, Jackie. Oh. God, this is really hard. Focus. And the other thing to think about while driving, or not, is mental distractions. The mind wandering, even recalling a sad thought for one driver, saw their average attention levels plummet by 31%. But it's not all bad news. We also looked at some possible solutions. A beeping alert we tested at the moment of inattention saw their average attention levels rise significantly. We also tried fixing a vibrating alert into the headrest and had similar results. And the defensive driving technique known as commentary driving also proved helpful for most of our drivers. Just following the inside line of the corner, keeping the acceleration nice and even. To sum up what's been a fascinating look into driver inattention, we asked each driver what they changed about the way they drive. We're in the home stretch, guys. How do you feel after a couple of days of testing? Good? Good. Good. Yeah? yeah? Not too bad. Not too bad. Thinking back on that test and the experience you had, what do you think it'll change about your behaviour uh, in the future? I personally will be aware of when I become distracted. That's one of the big things that I've sort of found out of this week. I, I never use a phone in the car mm. and I can't text. When I did try to use that, my attention went and I lost it. You cannot multitask in a car because your attention is just not where it should be. Yeah, you're just getting all these random thoughts and images up, so your thoughts are always just everywhere apart from the road. Um, just little stuff, you know, just eating or, you know, general stuff that you do in the car, just think about it twice before you go and do it. Everyone gets distracted. Don't kid yourself that you don't. Every night on the news, we hear of families that are affected from people in car accidents, fatalities, and it's, it's very sad. We don't realise it. That's the problem. We don't realise how distracted we get in a car.